everyone welcome to arcade treasure center my name is Roy and this is gonna be a what sold video it's been a little while since I did a what sold video but this is what I sold during the last week of September 2019 if you're new to my channel then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell so you'll know when we have new videos that come out uh, some of the items that I'm going to showcase in this video you've seen in the recent videos because they were good items that sold but I sold a lot of items this week, so let's get right into it. All right, while I'm doing this what sold video, I'm going to be looking at my computer, so don't get offended if I'm not looking at you directly the whole time. So that way I can see what's coming up next. The first item that I sold uh, that last week was a Vintage Hand Workshop Pottery Rose 9-inch plate. It has a pattern where if you took a sponge and you dabbed it all over the plate, it would leave the spongeware pattern. It's a real pretty and unique uh, looking pattern. This one is in a red and pink over white pattern. Uh, they can be different colors. There's green and blue. Uh, this one it can be used as a replacement dish or someone can take it and hang it on a wall. It's got that unique prettiness to it. It sold for $12.30 plus the buyer paid the shipping. And I bought it for, I purchased it for uh, $2.99. Alright, this next item I picked up at a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it. It's a spherical glass paperweight. It has a controlled bubble pattern in it. Um, because it had a real pretty blue egg shape or flame shape, we called it the blue flame. Uh, this vintage paperweight sold for $20 plus the buyer plate paid the shipping. All right, this next item I picked up at a thrift store. I only paid a couple dollars for it. I thought it was really unique. It's a Harry Potter Rubus Haggard action figure. Um, this doll stood uh, about 10 inches tall and it's uh, from 2001. The uh, action figure itself it could move around and the jacket was pliable enough so you could move it. It sold for $16.95 with free shipping. Alright, can anybody guess what this next item I sold was? If you've been watching my videos enough, then you know exactly what it is. That's right, it's a box of brown billiard chalk. Um, I have multiple boxes of billiard chalk I've sold over the time uh, over time I'm almost out so if you're interested in the box of brown billiard chalk you can go to my eBay store RK underscore treasure underscore center and you can pick up a box of brown chalk before they're gone I sold this for six dollars and seventy five cents and it was free shipping so I'm trying to get rid of them I'm almost done and I'm almost out of them all right this next item that sold was a vintage Micromatic bullet end safety razor and the reason it's called bullet end is because the end of the razor has that bullet shaped Yeah, it's an old-fashioned safety razor that you unwind open up it, it opens up and you can butterflies out and you can put the blade in it um, It sold for twenty dollars and the buyer paid the shipping and the brand of it was called Jim I only paid a dollar for it. Okay, this next item I picked up at a thrift store uh, I always look for kind of Hawaiian type shirts in really good condition, especially if they got some decent name brands on them. Uh, this was a floral Hawaiian shirt. It's uh, Caribbean Joe is the brand name of the shirt. The reason I picked it up and snatched it up right away was it was in excellent condition and it's a 3X. And large shirts, extra large, triple X, and even higher, uh, they'll sell pretty quickly. I paid a uh, dollar something on sale and the buyer paid $16.95. All right, this next item I picked up, I got it at a thrift store. I only paid two or three dollars for it. Um, it's a new old stock vintage Parcheesi game board. And the reason it's new old stock is it was from the 1980s, but it had never been opened. It was still wrapped in its original cellophane. Um, it was in excellent condition. I listed it and it sold uh, pretty quick. It sold for $18.95 and the buyer paid the shipping. If you can ever find old board vintage games that are complete, especially if they're still wrapped up, they're going to sell really quick for fast money. Okay, this was a pair of binoculars I picked up at a garage sale. Um, its brand name is Diastone. It was an 8x30 ZFC coated, uh, made in Japan. And I paid, uh, I think I paid $5 for it. Uh, it still came in its case. It had all its covers that go over the lenses. It was really good condition. 
and the buyer paid $40 and I sent it out free shipping. All right, this next item I talked about just recently in a video when I was taking it to FedEx. It's a heavy item. It's a set of Pyrex Early American Colonial nesting bowls. It's four bowls that will all fit inside each other. Um, it was a really good find. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but uh, I may have paid 5 to $10 for the set I can't remember I've actually had them for a while they were sitting and I didn't have them listed and I listed them probably two months ago so they've sat for about two months but I knew they would sell eventually if you've been watching my videos this is where the one where the buyer paid $50 for the item and they paid $52 for the shipping well I sent it out FedEx had it gone out UPS or excuse me United States Postal Service it would have cost $52 but because I sent it out through FedEx I was able to refund the buyer $20 and they were very happy okay this item I've never heard before it was called Quelf the unpredictable party game um, I never heard of it before I saw it at the thrift store uh, paid a couple dollars for it I don't remember exactly how much but it was still wrapped in its cellophane it was still brand new I'm sure it's some sort of get-together party game or drinking game or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I sold it for $20 with free shipping. All right, I was really happy when I found this item at a thrift store. I actually found two glass mushrooms, and one of them was marked Murano. The other one wasn't marked, and that's the one that's pictured here. Um, it had, this one is a ruby red glass mushroom it has a controlled bubble pattern in the glass and it's, it is just real beautiful i actually had it listed for a little while the first one sold right away i'm sure because it still had the murano label this one didn't have a label on it so i couldn't call it murano or anything i just called it art glass and i was really happy um, i took a best offer of 14 dollars 95 and the buyer paid the shipping um, and i don't know if i mentioned it but i only paid uh, about three dollars for each of the glass mushrooms so it was a good flip all right sometimes when you see an item at a garage sale or wherever you're at you just know there's something about it well I picked up this paperweight and I only paid a dollar for it I got it at the same garage sale where I got the blue flame uh, paperweight that you saw earlier in this video I only paid a dollar for this paperweight and when I got it back home I did some research the paperweights from Stettin Germany and the statue that's in the paperweight was of William Kaiser the first he was a Prussian soldier actually the first I think one of the first Prussian soldiers uh, generals or presidents anyway this statue and this picture that you see in in this paperweight uh, was there back in the early 1900s but after World War II this statue was taken down so I was really happy when I found it and I was extremely happy when I finally sold it because it sold for $37 and the buyer paid the shipping and it's going international shipping. All right, whenever I find a Starbucks mug, I usually pick it up, especially if they have a location or a real pretty design on the front of them. Some Starbucks mugs can go for some big dollars. Um, this is a collection, a retired collection from the You Are Here collection. It's Orange County. Uh, it doesn't look like it was ever used. It was clean. The bottom was really nice. It didn't have any scuff marks. Um, I picked it up, took pictures of it, looked it up, found good comps on it, and I sold it for $18.95 with free shipping. All right, there was a day where I had a late start, and I didn't have a lot going on, so I went and did some retail arbitrage. Well, this is one of those retail arbitrage items. I, pick, I paid a little bit high on it, but it's okay. Um... I try to do retail arbitrage every once in a while, try to find some items at a lower price that I could sell and make a little bit of money. And this Call of Duty Snowmobile Scout is a 91 piece set. It sold for $18.95 with free shipping. Um, the whole thing didn't weigh but about three, four ounces. So it only sent out for $3. And I think I paid about $5 for it. So not a big profit money maker, but still a good bread and butter item. As many of you know, um, one thing I like to pick up is name brand eyeglass or sunglass cases. Well, this was a Ray-Ban sunglass case. It was still new, uh, great condition, and still had the original Ray-Ban 
cleaning cloth that was never used. I picked it up for a dollar and it sold for $9.99 plus the buyer paid the shipping. So I always try to pick those up whenever I find them, especially if they're in good condition. Um, I, can sell them pretty, I can sell them pretty quickly and flip them for a good profit. All right, and the last item was one you just saw in the video. If you watch my videos, you'd see it, and I was really happy to sell it. I sold it within two hours. was the Canon 518 Super 8, which is an 8 millimeter camcorder. I picked it up at an estate sale. I got it on the first day of the estate sale, so I had to pay their full price, which was $25. But I knew by, I, I just knew it was going to be a good item. I looked up the comps on them. The comps had a really good sell-through rate. Uh, pretty much every one of them that was listed sold at a good price. So I picked it up for $25. Excuse me. I picked it up for $25. And I sold it for my asking price of $149 plus the buyer paid the shipping. All right. So it wasn't my best week of sales, but it definitely wasn't my worst week of sales either. Uh, total gross profit was $578.88. After all the eBay and PayPal fees and everything said and done, I should make a net profit of $470.74. That's about what I figured out. So, to all my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back and supporting the channel. If you're new to the video, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when our new videos come out. And to all you resellers out there, remember there's plenty of treasures in the world. So find it, sell it, and profit. Have a great day.